360, something like that. I think that's a much better price, obviously. If you can get it for around that price, I think that is a good investment. I do think 425 on the Canada Goose website. Personally, I think that's a little bit high. Right, so winter's coming up and I know a lot of people have been asking me to give my thoughts on the Freestyle Crew Gilet Vest. So first things first, the Canada Goose Freestyle Gilet Vest. This is the new 2021 version of the Canada Goose Freestyle. And the reason you'll know this is because Canada Goose now use a different font for their size label. Now usually this LG would be much bigger on the older versions. With the, uh, the numbers underneath, you'll know that this is now the newer labels inside the jacket got the product labels that's the product label always take a note of this because this number here for example the 4154 that is telling you the model name of the gilet or the jacket and if you put that um, model name into the search engine on the Canada Goose website it was it should come up with the same jacket so that is how you know to double check that it is the same jacket you're looking at for sometimes the counterfeits don't get that um, number right or they even leave that number out altogether I've also noted is Canada Goose no longer have the blue down quality assurance label which is quite interesting. I did contact Canada Goose about this and they did say that they're no longer including that label inside the jacket. The Canada Goose Freestyle jacket is a downfield jacket. It's a lightweight gilet and because it doesn't have the arms it's for people that are going to be doing a lot more movement. Possibly someone that could be working in colder environments and needs to keep their inner body warm but needs their outer kind of like arms to be kind of free to move around but someone who's probably going to be a bit more active may well go for the gilet so that's where the gilet comes in now this one was actually available over on a retailer which i'll put on the description box below which you'll get 15 percent off this price will be going up over time it used to be 350 pounds so prices are really creeping up on canada goose which to be honest with you i do find that a little uh, disappointing because they're really expensive and the prices are getting higher and higher now canada goose say this is slim fit but um, to be honest with you i think it's quite big i think the large is quite big Canada Goose jackets are meant to be very slightly oversized because that's how it kind of helps insulate. So it's up to you whether you want to size down. So it really depends. You might have to play around. I'm a large and I was comfortable going for the large, okay? The neck collar actually has a suede lining on the collar. So this is a suede material which feels really nice. Does have a heavy weight two-way zipper, durable zipper that you can see here by YKK. So this is really good because this is one of the high, higher quality zippers meant for more kind of like heavyweight durable jackets. The downfill inside this gilet is 625 downfill. The fill is a measure of the loft or fluffiness of the down jacket. It is a universal rating system and the scale of, that, of the fill ranges from 550 right up to 900. With the higher the fill, then the warmer the jacket. The outer shell is an Arctic Tech material, which is Canada Goose's own specific materials and that renders the jacket water resistant and also very, very durable. When they say water resistant, I personally don't think this has got a high level of water resistance. So if you are in the rain for quite a long period of time the water will eventually seep into the jacket in saying that it does handle it quite well because when you when you take your jacket home and you know the you're, you're drying it up then the water will kind of deplete from the jacket but i'm just saying whilst you're walking around with the jacket it, eventually it will soak through it's not a super high water resistance now the reason for this is that these jackets are kind of designed for designed for more extreme arctic temperatures where you don't really get a lot of rain yes you will get snow but you're not going to get like rain like how you do in the uk so it's not as bad as let's say for example some of the montclair jackets which are not water resistance altogether but this one um, will only deal with a certain amount of rain now the jacket has a tei index of one now the tei index is canada goose's own index to rate the warmth of a jacket with the highest being tei5 tei1 will give you up to minus five degrees um, protection whereas a tei5 will give you up to minus 30 degrees protection for your jacket okay also you've got some snap buttons once you zip it up it kind of snaps across nicely and that just kind of ensures that the wind doesn't blow through the zips and gets you cold. Six pockets to the front, which is quite good. And the inside pocket there also has fleece pockets. So that makes sure to keep your hands nice and warm. So it is a nice jacket. I think at 395 plus our 15% discount, 360, something like that. I think that's a much better price, obviously. If you can get it for around that price, I think that is a good investment. I do think 425 on the Canada Goose website. Personally, I think that's a little bit high. As I said, it used to be 350 like about three four years ago but prices are creeping up on the Canada Goose so all in all it is a good gilet it will keep you very warm it is a good investment they do hold their value quite well as well so 
if you are looking to make an investment, I don't think you can go too wrong with the Gillet. I mean, for people that feel like they get hot quite easily and they want something that's got that kind of vers versatility but can keep their midsection warm but need to move their arms a lot more, say you're gonna wear like a nice thick jumper underneath, then I think the Gillet could be a good look. The only thing I would say is it is quite long and it, it might appear quite big on some people, so you do need to consider the size. As I said, I went for a size large. It still was a little bit big on me, but I, I know that's how they're meant to fit, okay? So that is the Canada Goose Freestyle Jacket. Don't forget I've got a 15% off code for our followers only on Canada Goose. You'll find that in the description box below. Make sure to go and click that and use our special code um, for followers where you get 15% off. That includes um, Montclair, CP Company, Arcturix as well, and a whole hunt, bunch of other brands um, which, are gonna be, which are hard to get discounts off during the winter time, okay? Guys, listen, I'm out of here. I've got lots more coming. Peace out.